Today we're looking at the Earth Tones version 2 presets. This guide will show you how to use these presets in Adobe Lightroom 4, 5, 6 and Classic CC. So to begin with, start with your image in the develop module in Lightroom. We've got a great collection of images here from a Serbian photographer called Milenko. He's a stock photographer and we did an article about him which you can find over on the community section of our website. Make sure you go and check that out and see more of his incredible story as a stock photographer. So once you've got your presets installed, you'll see them here on the left hand side. Now we've got 14 reworked presets which focus on better colour palettes, better skin tone enhancements and overall a greater experience when using these presets. But to begin with, we're going to look at these control presets up here. These are just things that you can use to quickly correct your image. So to begin with, we're going to want to do the auto white balance and the auto lens correction. You're going to want to jump over here and adjust the exposure manually. So I'm just going to turn this up a touch on this photograph. Once you've done that, you're free to jump in and start applying the presets. As you can see, these are really similar to the old ones, except we've really worked hard to make sure that there's a great color contrast between skin tones and the rest of the color palettes. So we've got these lovely faded oranges, browns, greens, even some cooler blue presets as well. So for this one, I'm going to go with Earth Tones 5. It's a bit more natural and it looks really, really nice with this image. Now, once you've applied these presets, you can go in and you can start customizing them straight away. So I'm just going to warm this image up a little bit using the temperature slider. And I think I'm going to go down and just increase the luminance on their skin tones just a touch to bring it up. That looks really, really nice. Now, all of these presets come with a certain amount of grain added to them. This is a stylistic choice. Some photographers like it, some photographers uh, perhaps want to do without it. It can make the image look a bit soft. So if you want, you can just add the grain, remove grain preset, and you can see all of that grain has gone, leaving a nice sharp image. And if I want to, I can jump in and maybe add a graduated filter here, just to bring down some of the highlights. Uh, in the sky, make those clouds look a bit, a little bit more moody. And I think I'm going to jump over here and just um, bring down some of the highlights on this girl's clothing. It's quite bright and it's a little blown out with what we've got at the moment. And there we are. That looks really, really nice. Maybe we'll even uh, put the shadows up a little bit. There we are. Fantastic. Now there's one more preset that we've got here. It's called the Reset TPF Preset. But you'll notice it doesn't reset all of the settings. So if I click it, it's going to take us back to our original image, but it's not going to change the auto white balance. It's not going to change the lens correction. It's not going to change your exposure. And our graduated filter is still here. And our local adjustments are still here as well. Those haven't been resetted. All Reset TPF is going to do is take away one of these presets. If you want to reset the image entirely, you can just use the reset button down here. I'm going to go back. So this is the image we have now. This was it before. And this is what we're left with, looking really, really nice. I'm just going to jump over and show you another example, another great image here from Milenko going to go with the auto white balance lens correction and let's go with earth tone 14 that looks really really nice let's just pump up the exposure just a touch on there i'm just going to increase those shadows a little bit uh, scroll down i want to take away some of the saturation in the uh and the redness of her skin tones let's just move that down just a touch and there we are you know perfect so this was it before and this was it afterwards. Now the Earth Tones collection is designed for outdoor photography, so it's great for outdoor, wedding, lifestyle, travel, those types of genres. We encourage our photographers to use these presets on a range of different images. However, they are designed to work best with the natural earthy color palettes uh, that you find out in nature. So, you know, if you're gonna be shooting street photography in a city uh, or perhaps some studio work, these probably aren't gonna work as best. These are, these are mainly for outdoor photos, uh, adventure, travel, that kind of thing. Remember, if you've got any questions about these presets or any of our other products, jump over to the support section of our website, send us a message and one of our team will get back to you. 